Okay, guys. Hey, welcome back to Cooking with Marie. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I've got Sarah in the background. Don't mind. So today we are going to be making a 15 bean soup. So this is going to be quite a bit of a recipe. So your first step in all of this, but I'm going to show you things that you need first. So you are going to need a whole yellow onion. So you're going to dice this sucker up. You're also going to need a can of diced tomatoes. And we prefer, we love having cornbread. So Jiffy corn mix, whatever kind of cornbread mix that you guys have in your area will do just fine. But cornbread is a must with this meal. Unless you just hate cornbread, which, yeah. So Sarah absolutely loves cornbread. And so you've got your diced tomatoes, you've got your onion, and then you've got your bag of 15 bean soup. Now, in this bag comes a season, pa a season packet. Um, you can choose to use this or not. This packet is going to make the, the soup spicy. So if you're not into a spicy type of soup, you don't want to use this. You can just add your own flavors. I usually only use very little of this packet at the end. But for the most part, I'm going to do my own ingredient seasoning wise. So first step is we're going to put these in here with eight, eight cups of water and we are going to soak for eight hours. Oh, making a mess. So pour your bag of 15 beans into a big bowl. And I've already measured out eight cups of water. You're gonna put those together. Stir this up. The color is always amazing because it always has all this beautiful bright colors. Um, if you can see your beans look amazing. And this is gonna sit for eight hours. So I'm starting this now at 9 a.m. And this will be ready to start cooking at 5 p.m. So there we go, guys. Okay, guys, so we have had our beans soaking for about eight hours now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add the beans with eight cups of water. We're gonna add that to our pot here. So. Make sure that you actually drain your beans after they've soaked for eight hours. You want to drain them off and then you're going to add them to your pot here. And then you are going to add in your eight cups of water. You're going to stir this up. And then you are going to turn this on so that this will boil so you want to boil your beans and then once the once they're rapidly boiling you will reduce your heat and then cover so that they are on a simmer and you will cook these for one and a half hours okay so one and a half hours on a simmer after it's been boiling so boil it reduce your heat to a simmer and cover and cook for one and a half hours I forgot to tell you during this time when you're going to before your stuff comes to a boil you're going to add in your garlic powder which i always do just granulated garlic powder i add a little bit of basil some black pepper a little bit of rosemary and thyme and the rosemary and thyme are in leaf form so you want to add the leaves in um, i just sprinkle it um, till i feel comfortable with it you don't want to overdo it um, because you are going to add other seasonings to this but this is the time where I add those in so as the beans cook down they're going to absorb a lot of that flavoring. So this is the time to add those in. Stir this up pretty good so you mingle all those flavors together and then bring it to a boil. Okay so as you can see we now have our soup boiling and at this point we're going to turn this down to about on, a, on an electric stove you want to turn it down to about a two. Um, on a gas stove I guess you're just gonna have to rain, uh, like gauge it to where it's down to a simmer. Um, you definitely don't wanna put your flame out by accident, but you also don't want it too high. You want this to simmer, because this is going to simmer for the next hour and a half. 
So that's what stage we're at now. And as you do this stage, this is when you're gonna go ahead and put a lid on and let this simmer away for an hour and a half, stirring occasionally. And at this time, you can start cutting up and chopping up your onion, your garlic, and your Polish sausages. So you're gonna get all that started and then we'll go to that step in a few minutes. Okay guys, so now that our soup has been cooking for quite some time, we're gonna go ahead and start sauteing all of our extra goodies. So, I usually at this point use a vegetable oil because this is all more, you know, bean and vegetable based. So I'm going to add some oil in there. I usually do about three tablespoons of oil because we are going to be doing quite a bit of stuff in this pan. I have this set right now on a very low heat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up to about a little between a medium, a little over a medium, like about a six. And then I am going to coat this pan with the oil. All right, so our pan is now coated. We are going to use the same spoon just so that we, you know, save on dishes here. And this is what we're going to be doing. So this has our pork sauce, so our Polish sausage, our onions and our garlic. We are gonna throw those babies off inside of this pan here. We are going to saute this together until the, until the Polish sausage is brown. So you want to saute this till these are all nice and brown. Now at this point, this is where I like to add in my extra seasonings. You don't have to do this. Like a lot of these recipes don't call for this. However, I've always done things kind of my own way and this is how I found that I liked cooking and all the extra things I can do with it. So this is where I'm gonna take some of my thyme. I'm gonna sprinkle some thyme right over the top of that. Do it to the way you prefer. You don't have to go overboard, just you know, go with what you like. A little bit of rosemary. All right. Add some of our black pepper. Little bit of basil. Because like I said, you are gonna have a huge amount of flavor in this soup. And of course, you can't go without doing some of the garlic powder, or gar granulated garlic actually. Even though I know we have some garlic cloves in here, I do just a light sprinkle of regular garlic on there. Now we are going to go ahead and saute this up. And as you saute this, your onions will break apart, by the way. I know a lot of people will get kind of antsy about their onions sticking together. The onions will come apart as you saute this. As they start to cook, they will pull and separate. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. So don't try to separate them by hand. Um, they will come apart. So don't, don't get too uh, discouraged as you start cooking this. And you remember, you want your onion chopped, not diced. Um, and a lot of people wonder what's the difference. Chopped onions are a slight bit bigger. Um, they kind of give a more hearty look to them as opposed to diced onions. Diced onions are pretty dang small. Um, you usually see diced onions and whatnot inside of like a burger, um, when you do like a burger mix or something. Um, but you want nice, big, fat, chunky pieces of onion. It gives kind of a, a good hearty feel to the soup as this goes into the soup. So. We are going to cook this up and let this sausage get nice and brown. Okay, so guys, this is where I do things a bit different from most other um, recipes that do this same recipe. So, this is normally where you would take this and you would drain this off and then you would dump all this into the soup recipe. However, I do things slightly different because I really like to integrate a lot of the flavor. So right here is where I'm going to add in our diced tomato. Normally you would just throw the diced tomato into the actual soup mix. However, I add the diced tomato to this pot. So I add in my diced tomato here. This is also where I add in the squeeze of at least one lemon. I add in my spicy seasoning, because this is the seasoning I really like. That has paprika, some uh, 
cayenne, and a little bit of oregano. Then I add in a little more pepper at this point. And that's about all I do here. And then I just stir all this up. I want all those flavors to just really get to know each other. Whoa, making a mess, why don't I? Oh my goodness, that tastes amazing. Okay, yep. So now this is where I'm going to stir all this together. But at this point, I'm gonna reduce this heat on this one to between a two and a three, or what you would say is exactly between low and a medium heat. And I'm just going to go ahead and allow this to just get to know each other. You're just gonna let these flavors totally absorb together. Most people wouldn't do this with the soup. They would normally just throw it all into the big pan and then serve it while it was hot. I am going to, this is the step that I do completely different. I go ahead and intermingle all these flavors together. I place a lid on top and I'm going to let this cook together for about 40 minutes. So once this is 40 minutes cook time, the beans and stuff over on this end over here will be ready. You go ahead and combine the two things inside the big pot and your soup will be done. Okay guys, so now that all of our flavors have intermingled and mixed together, it is time to add our ingredients together. As you can see, this is simmering pretty good. We've got a good little simmering boil going on. And this is all of our beans here. We are going to add in our meat mixture. So this has got our meats and our tomato and our onion. And this is going to go ahead and go into the bean mixture. I wish you guys could smell this. I cannot right now. It is so delicious. All right, now you're going to mix all this together with your beans. And at this point, you are gonna let all these cook together for about 45 minutes. So, that will be all fully ready to eat in about 45 minutes. So go ahead and cover this up. Leave it on a low setting between about a two and a three on an electric top. And at this point, Go ahead and make your cornbread. Just follow the ingredients and the steps on the box. I don't really need to walk you through this portion. So just follow your ingredients on any of your corn muffin um, recipes and you shall be good to go on that. Okay guys, so there you go. That is the dish. It is all ready to go and ready to be served. Make sure that you serve it with a nice uh, cut of cornbread and enjoy. Bon appetit.